Hi everyone, I'm spending a little bit of time today going over my Schoology classroom and what it looks like right now. I am just creating a practice one for now because I want to try it out and make sure everything works before school starts um, and before I get my students assigned to my other classroom. So I'm going to go over a little bit today how I have this organized and how you can um, get links within Schoology to work. So this is my online classroom, which I know I've shared already. Some of these buttons or icons um, I have not created links for yet. I have for all of the websites because those are not going to change. They're going to stay the same. Um, but some of these um, I'm going to be creating information for and adding them to my Schoology course. And the links will be very specific for each one of these. So I haven't added them yet because I don't have my course open yet. Okay, I added some sample things from last year just to give you a little idea of how you could set this up. At the top, I added a discussion here for my families so that they could kind of see what distance learning was going to be about and give them some information about how to access everything. I included a folder with login information, which you could make a button or icon for and have it link right to that folder if you'd like. I have a daily language arts folder with some um, fold, or with some posters for parents and students to access and some other resources, writing resources and a folder with enrichment options. And then a couple of folders here with some examples of how you could set them up. Okay, so these should be pretty self-explanatory. You're going to make your own welcome letter to parents and might include your own information. So um, I'll let you kind of think about what you want parents to know about your online classroom because your letter is going to look different from mine. Um, down here, I have login information. That seems pretty self-explanatory. Um, daily language arts, and here I just included phonics, high-frequency words, and fluency practice. I gave this um, to all students, but asked students who received less than a three on their standards to really focus on practicing on these every single day. So I put some standards in here, knowing and applying grade-level phonics, reading grade-appropriate high-frequency words, and reading on level text fluently. So the resources inside all have to do with that, and I can show you those really quickly. Um, again, here's five frequency words, fluency, and fluency passages. I'll explain more about those in just a minute. Okay, and then I have a writing resource folder, and in my writing resource, resource folder, I have um, posters here that families can access with more information about each writing genre and some writing paper, which again, pretty self-explanatory so they can print those off at home. Okay, I also have um, opinion writing and personal narrative and then some adjectives, a list of adjectives there for families. Okay, and in my enrichment option folder, I included a list of websites um, for extra activities or extra things that they could do. There's reading websites, math websites, and then some online educational games. I only put a couple there. I set my folders up by week, but you could set your folders up any way that works best for you. Inside each week, I had each subject, a folder for each subject, and then I had assignments and resources within each folder. You could sort, sort these by um, each day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then have each subject inside. 
Um, it just depends on how organized you want to be and just rem remember to make it appropriate for your grade level. So you want to try to keep it as simple as you can. Um, inside here, I just had a link to ConnectEd, which is our language arts, and then some writing. Um, again, I provided them with writing paper so that they could just access the prompt and practice at home. They could submit work online by just either sending me a, P, um, a photo or um, texting it or emailing it to me. That's another option. All right, and then for math, I had, um, we practiced telling time. So I taught a live lesson with a presentation and I put my PDF here for the students so that they could refer back to it. Then I put a practice here for them, which they could open up in Kami and then complete the assignment and submit it back to me. And I can show you how to use Kami in just a bit. All right, so that's one way to set up your folder. You can set it up again by week and then by subject, or you can set it up by week and then just put all of your assignments in there for the week. That's another way. It just depends on how organized you want to be and how difficult you think it's going to be for your students to remember which folder do I need to click on? How do I need to get to that? That kind of thing. So this folder I just put for the week and then I put all the assignments in there that they would need. This is just a sample. I don't, this is not all the assignments, but that's just a few. And this would be for every subject. So there's some reading or language arts and then some uh, math. Okay, so those are a couple of options for your folders and what they might look like. Okay, if you're wanting to make these, these buttons clickable, what you will need to do when you're creating the links is that you will need to find out what the URL is from whatever resource you're going to have it linked to. So for example, for this writing resource folder, if I wanted my writing button to come to this folder, I would go up to the search bar at the top and I would select the entire web address. Then I would copy it And when I was making this page on the page button, and let me go to that, to the sample classroom here, this is where I initially um, put in all of my pictures and everything. So I would copy that web address, click on the icon that I wanted to use or the button that I wanted to use and then push the little button that says link. I've already pasted that link in here. Okay, I'm not going to update it or unlink it, but if it was new and I hadn't changed and I had changed something, I would put update. Okay, and then I would save the changes. I would need to copy this whole thing again because I added new links to it. I would need to copy this and then go over to updates on the left hand side, which you can't see right now, but you would go to the update page, which is where you initially put in your pictures before. And then you would paste it here, click the bell and hit the post button. Okay. And then that would update your ban your, not your banner, but your kind of splash page here for your announcement. All right, and then the way that you would test that out and make sure that it works is to come back onto this page after you added your link and click on whatever button or icon you used. And there it takes me right to my writing resource page with all of my information. Okay, so I could use those for linking to a folder um, with some information and that would help my students find it a little bit faster rather than having to have them come down here and figure out which folder may be because by the end of the year, if you're, if you leave your folders up, then that might take them a long time to find the information. Okay. You can, um, also over here, these little tickers, you have some options that you can, um, 
change or do with these folders here, you can unpublish them. So maybe if you're done with that week and you know the students don't need that information or maybe you just don't want all of the information to be up all the time, you can unpublish it. Um, you can individually assign it to different students. You can move the folder somewhere else. You can copy this to, to other courses and save it to your resources. If you save it to resources, you'll be able to move that to other courses later. So if you have um, a course coming up that hasn't opened yet and you maybe create all of this now, you can always save it to your resources to pull up later and add to your course, which is awesome. Okay, so there's just a little bit of information about Schoology. I hope that was helpful and gave you some ideas. Please feel free to share your ideas in the group. Um, I would love to hear how you are setting up your courses and how you're organizing your folders. Have a great day.